evolution should not be equated with progress. In our earlier class, we have discussed how can we trace species. Now let us learn, does evolution equate with progress? In the process of tracing species, consider species as a tree. The important things that need to be considered are, as in tree multiple branches, as multiple adaptations are possible at each and every stage of process of evolution. Irrespective of elimination of species, new species are emerged. But that does not mean old species will disappear. It will all depend on the environment. As we discussed earlier, in case of beetles, when two populations are isolated by geographical barriers or reproductive barriers, there is a chance for a change to develop in their gene flow which is called as genetic drift which leads to the formation of new species. Thus natural selection and genetic drift together led to the formation of population that cannot reproduce with original one. Example: In earlier generation, human beings and chimpanzees have common ancestor. When breeding between two different individuals is impossible, it will lead to different species. The two resultant species have probably evolved in their independent ways which led to present generation. Evolution is simply the generation of diversity and the shaping of the diversity by environmental selection. The progressive trend in evolution led to more and more complex body design. Still on earth, simplest life form of earlier generation are surviving. Example, bacteria in habitats like hot springs, deep sea thermal vents and ice in Antarctica. The tools for tracing evolutionary relationships, excavating, time dating and studying fossils as well as determining DNA sequences have been used for studying human evolution. As we all know, there is a great diversity of human forms and features across planet. The commonest way of identifying human forms is by skin color and so called as human races. Some are yellow, black, white or brown. There is no biological basis to the notion of human races. All humans are a single species. Thousands of years ago, we all come from Africa. The earliest members of the human species, Homo sapiens, can be traced there. Our genetic footprints can be traced back to our African roots. A couple of hundred thousand years ago, some of our ancestors left Africa while others stayed and spread as residents across Africa. The migrants slowly spread across the planet from Africa to West Asia, then to Central Asia, Eurasia, South Asia, East Asia. They traveled down the islands of Indonesia and the Philippines to Australia and they crossed the Bering Land Bridge to the Americas. Like all other species on the planet, they had come into being as an accident of evolution and were trying to live their lives the best they could. That is all about evolution and classification. Hope you enjoyed the class and learned some interesting things about hereditary and evolution.